What is good everyone? Welcome to another video from Ultimate Casual Gaming, the home for the casual gamer. I'm just flexing. In today's video we're going to talk about the subject of casual gaming and what makes a casual gamer, at least in my mind. You see, I've always considered myself to be a casual gamer, yet my wife and friends, and maybe you out there, all think I've moved into the realm of the hardcore. They have their reasons why they think that is, and I'll lay them out for you in the video. But I'm still not convinced though. So maybe you guys will be able to enlighten me in the comments below. With that, let's go. So let's start by asking, what is a casual gamer? First, let's start by establishing this truth. There's no universal definition for a casual gamer. This has become evident to me when I did a simple Google search for the term casual gamer. There were message boards after message boards on the topic. As I read, I saw that there were many schools of thought on the term, and of course I have my own. However, I did notice that the more I read, the more I saw some themes emerge around what a casual gamer actually is. And the theme seemed to settle into roughly five schools of thought. First, there's a school of thought that it's based on the amount of time you actually spend playing video games and also drifts into how many games you may actually buy and play in a given year. Here's one quote that captures this school of thought perfectly. Casual gamer equals someone who plays a game for 45 minutes to two hours, one to three times a week, and only buys three to four games a year. Very formulaic, very specific, but in this person's eyes, a casual gamer fits in this formula. The second school of thought relates to how much time you put into a specific game. And here's a quote I came across that kind of captures that one. Depends on usage, I suppose. Say if a Candy Crush player obsessively plays that particular game backwards and forwards, gets three stars on every level, and maybe helps you with your own or plays yours because they left there somewhere. Does that sort of dedication not count as a hardcore player, albeit an exclusively hardcore Candy Crush player? Third, there's also the somewhat elitist notion that the type of game you play makes you casual versus hardcore. Here's a quote on that one. The way I see that of a casual gamer, they are someone who only plays select games, quite simple games also based on what their friends play, such as Assassin's Creed, Call of Duty, Halo, etc. However, a game that is more deep and takes more concentration and time, such as some RPGs, would never be considered casual. Also, if all you play is a Facebook game, then I wouldn't even deem you as a casual player, but a Facebookian. <laughs> this guy was off the hook. All right, the fourth school of thought is that it comes down to your attitude about gaming. Are you interested in it? Do you follow the industry? Do you read articles about gaming, watch videos, spend money to get better? Here's a quote on that one. The term casual gamer should refer to the attitude of the player towards gaming. So someone who plays games but does it ad hoc or without investing in it overly would be casual. And then the fifth and final is about lifestyle. Casual gamers are those who play games that fit their lifestyle, whereas hardcore gamers are those who shape their lifestyle to match their gaming. Interesting. There's another definition from Computer Hope, um, and theirs was, casual gaming is a term used for a form of playing video games where a gamer does not have a long-term commitment to a game and can approach playing the game on an infrequent and spontaneous basis. Sounds fair. So as you can see, there are many perspectives on what a casual gamer is. Now my definition was always a bit of a hybrid. Personally, I thought of hardcore gamers as people who were supremely invested in a particular game or games. That investment to me had to do with the willingness to invest a great deal of time into a game. However, I also thought their attitude towards the game also mattered, especially competitively. For example, I feel that like those who want ranked multiplayer for their game so they can compete with other gamers and be as good as possible, I feel like those kinds of folks are pretty hardcore. Personally, I've never felt that pull. I never played ranked modes and have no desire to compete with others in tournaments and such. These are the attitudes of the hardcore gamer in my estimation. 
Consequently, I've always viewed myself as a casual gamer. That said, I don't think someone who plays a certain type of game is more, more of a hardcore gamer. You can be pretty hardcore about games like Madden, Call of Duty, and NBA 2K. There are folks who compete for thousands of dollars in tournaments for those games. That's not casual to me. Additionally, I buy and play a bunch of games every year, often as many as 10 to 15 a year. I'm fortunate enough to have a full-time job that affords me the ability to buy games as much as I like. And my library of games then numbers close to 100. I've been playing games, frankly, since Atari and currently own, no, believe it or not, I own two PS4s, two Xbox Ones, an Xbox 360, a gaming PC, and a gaming laptop. Well, a gaming desktop and a gaming laptop. <clears throat> I've also pre-ordered the Xbox One X. I now have a gaming channel on YouTube so I can talk about the games I love to play. This type of behavior and the type of purchasing that I've exhibited um, leads all of my friends to argue that this is the profile of a hardcore gamer. But I counter them by saying that other than Destiny, I really don't play any game for very long. I rarely replay games, even if I love them and I've, after I finish them. I often don't even finish games at all, and while I have a great deal of games, I often don't go very deep with them. I currently own games, for example, like Fallout 4, Mass Effect Andromeda, Dishonored 2, Uncharted 4, and Assassin's Creed Syndicate, and all games I have yet to even start playing. Those are all games I haven't even started yet. I keep saying that I'll get to them, but I can't seem to find time to play them. Well, they argue it's because I'm too hardcore about Destiny to get into those games, and I really don't have a good response to that point. I do put a lot of time into Destiny. That said, I've played a bunch of other games in the past 12 to 18 months, in console and in PC alike. The list includes games like Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, Star Wars Battlefront, Final Fantasy 15, Horizon Zero Dawn, NBA 2K17, The Show 17, For Honor, Gears of War 4, Quantum Break, Deus Ex, Mankind, Mankind Divided, Watch Dogs 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider, The Sims 4, uh, Total War, Warhammer, um, at least I played the, the, some versions of that. Not necessarily Warhammer, but I hope to play that one soon. Some of those titles I've actually finished, and some I even got platinum trophies for, while others I barely got far into. To me, it is a blended attitude of a casual gamer who wish he had more time to be hardcore. However, after researching this thoroughly, I do believe a broader definition may be in order than the one that I personally use. I was swayed by the argument that related a person's attitude towards gaming as a whole. This idea that a person who was invested in the overall gaming genre and enjoyed keeping up on trends and issues within gaming would not be considered a casual gamer. These are folks who follow their favorite games or the industry as a whole on Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, etc. They engage in specific gaming communities and subscribe to gaming publications, whether they're digital or physical copies of those pubs. While these gamers may not be hardcore about a particular game, they are hardcore in their love for gaming as a whole. This argument to me allows for the perspective that casual and hardcore labels of gamers should possibly be viewed from the eyes of individuals who aren't actually a part of that community in any way. What I mean is, what if we allow this argument to be determined through the eyes of someone who doesn't game at all? In their estimation, if you only played a couple of games a year, played those games in short bursts, and didn't focus your lifestyle around those games, how would they view you? Would they think of you as casual? Now, juxtapose that with the person who invests three to four hours a day in a particular game for months on end, how would they view that person if they knew that the, that same person also went to Reddit communities, discussed that game, watched at least three to five videos a day on YouTube about that game? Would they consider that person to be casual or hardcore? Now, should any of this even matter? There are many folks who think this is a silly discussion. Those folks simply feel we create divisions and foster elitist mentalities by even engaging in this discussion. Why entertain gamers who think that they are true gamers because they play certain types of games or because they invest more time into the games they love? You aren't going to win any arguments with folks that feel that way. So why waste your precious time? I would say I felt this way for the longest time. That was until now. You see, with the start of this channel and the subsequent branding of it as Ultimate Casual Gaming, I've thrust myself right into this discussion. I had to ask myself, 
who this channel is designed to reach. Is it truly the casual gamer who only sees games as a casual pastime? If so, are those folks even looking on YouTube for a gaming channel? Okay, and if not them, but more so as people like myself, then will others understand this hybrid label of the ultimate casual gamer? In reality, that is how I see myself, an ultimate casual. A casual player overall that is on the fringe of being hardcore. This type of person, like myself, would love to play more games, but life simply gets in the way. You know, we grow up, we have families, we have jobs. However, deep down, we know we love gaming. Gaming to people like us is a true hobby, our favorite form of escape from those things that life throws our way. I've never been able or willing to give that up. In that sense, I have always made gaming a part of my lifestyle and could be considered hardcore. However, my wife will also tell you that I make my family my utmost priority and I never shortchange them to play games. So in that way, I'm casual. So this is all represented in the channel. This is an effort by me and my son, who is 11 years old. He loves games too. However, what's most important to me is the special time we get to spend together creating content. It also thrills me to be able to teach him something new. To me, this is what it means to be an ultimate casual. We love games and we figure out ways to make gaming an enjoyable and worthwhile aspect of our lives without losing sight of the other things in life that are supremely important. So, in closing, if you've made it to this point in the video, I truly appreciate you sticking around and listening to my point of view on this topic. It's essential to what our channel is about and frankly, to who I am as an individual. I'm aware this is a bit odd to see, it is a bit odd to see someone so hardcore about a game like Destiny say that their channel is for filthy casuals. My response to that comes directly from my wife, who said, and I quote, you are a casual gamer, for sure, but your love, dedication, and commitment to Destiny is anything but casual. It is the one game that has caused you to exhibit what some would call the behavior of a hardcore gamer. However, we have always come first, and we aren't sacrificed for Destiny. Besides, you play lots of other games too, and hopefully they'll see that if they follow your channel. I can't explain it any better than that. In conclusion, I would say let's all embrace one another as gamers first and foremost. We all contribute to the health and growth of gaming. And it's amazing to see how far it's gaming has come since the days I used to run to my friend's house just to play with his Atari 2600. Gaming will continue to grow as long as we embrace gamers of all types. With that, I hope you liked the content of today's video and certainly appreciate you watching. If you did enjoy the content, a like is certainly appreciated and helps us out. Of course, if you want more content on Destiny 2 and other great games, remember to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell next to it to get notifications when we post new videos. That's all for now. A sincere thanks to all you gamers out there, casual or hardcore. Let's go and get our game on.